But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get it started. To go without saying, you know, this is the first time playthrough, so no spoilers for anything. If I actually do want to know something, I'll make it very clear when I'm addressing chat for that. Otherwise, I'll be thinking out loud and all that good stuff. All right, we got a uh, cat. Multiple cats. There's at least two cats in this game. I mean, we're off to. There's three. I'm counting three, four. This game's off to a good start. Not many games have four cats than like the first minute of the game. Oh, is this me? It's me. Dude, I'm fucking cool. I showed you my whiskers, please respond. Meow. Oh! Oh, this is some good gameplay. Meow. Oh, fuck yeah. And before this, like, influences something that happens in the game, like interacting with these cats. Meow. Just killing with my cat homies. Being a cat is so pog. Whoa, press B the meow. Loving it. Now that moon looks a little bit red. Access control system. I guess obviously as a cat I can't really uh open that door. I guess I, I go sleepy. So are we like a like I wonder if we're like a family or just like a bunch of ragtag adventurers. Maybe fate just brought us together. Maybe this is the lore here. They got a butterfly. It's like a Pokemon reference to, to Butterfree. Oh, the big, the big stretch. Cats can do a little bit of stretching as a treat. Oh? Where are we going, besties? Inside the wall. They got pipes. They got pipes and stuff. That's like a big jump right there. Like to go up. Like you had to jump what, like 15 feet in the air or something? These cats got legs. Where are we going, my kitty friends? Oh, I can jump. Oh, I like how there's, there's like a little prompt. Press B to meow. I already discovered that before. Oh, neat. Yeah, 
intellectual discourse. Hey, Celine. Today I am cat girl, it is true. Look at that, we can jump. I'm, I'm loving it, what's that? What does the A there mean? Ooh! Parkour? Parkour? Oh, I'm too good at this game. get up here. Oh, big jump. I just want to keep pressing the B button. It's perfect. Oh, water. In case I get thirsty, I can have, have a little drinky. So yeah, it seems like we're in some sort of... I mean, obviously this place is, like, abandoned. Must have been for a very long time, too. It's just curious if I could actually, like, jump off or something. Meow. We are family. It's like Final Fantasy, but like we're all cats. So it's like insanely better. You know? Is there something up here? Ah, just doing a little bit of parkour. Neat. Let's go, besties. Excellent idea. I bet like in this speedrun, there's like, hold A to chain jumps. I'm holding A. Oh! Too good. This really makes you feel like a cat. Cats very frequently hold down the A button. We're going like really far from like what I presume is our home. Ah, oh, maybe we're just like there for the day or something. LT to observe. Look, we're, we're observing. Yeah, there's no way like what we're doing today is like right here is like what we do on a regular basis. Hey, like, careful. Holy shit. It's just like the Lion King.
So now we have to find our way back. I'm, I'm guessing they probably didn't just like jump down after me. I will. I would not blame them. What's that lights? I'm also realizing now my monitor is kind of dusty. <laughs> Did I like pass out? That uh, garbage bag there is kind of moving. Oh. So I know this is like kind of semi futuristic or something. Oh, robots. Interesting. like a door there, I think. Looks like we can't really get through that way, though. Meow. Yeah. yeah, that was- I guess that was moving because there were, like, the robots there or something. Whatever those were. Miss Jump, fall inside the city. So we are like way on top. Dead city. Robots. So I'm guessing I can't like attack or anything. Never got anything for like biting. Pandemic protocol? Do not try to exit the city, stay home, avoid any contact with other residents, violating rules of confinement will result in a heavy prison sentence. Wait for instructions on WaltCity99.com. Although as a, as a as a cat, we don't know, but like as a player we know. Alright, I guess this game came out like a year or two ago, right? So it came out like during the middle of COVID. Meow. That's a little eerie. I'm being watched. Is that like a... Oh, thinking of like GeoGuessr made me think of like Sri Lankan for a moment. Oh, that there is a robot. <laughs> Funny little faces. Hey, Sadistic. Hope you're doing well today, gamer. Can I jump up there? <laughs> no horns allowed. You're not allowed to be horny around here. Another robot? Oh. As a cat, as a human, I know that says. Help. Oh. 
follow me and it actually is... I guess something's watching us, right? Something's gotta be watching us. Follow me. Yeah, it looked familiar and I couldn't put my finger on it. Yeah, like, uh, from Spirited Away. Oh, even maybe like the flame from Hal's Moving Castle, maybe? Got a bucket. What can I do with the bucket? I could put stuff in it. Ten billion IQ. <laughs> this is how you know you're a cat. You can put stuff over. <laughs> Time to cause mayhem. Let's see. How do we get over there? Maybe I was supposed to keep some of those paint cans. No, I don't think that you'd be able to do something like, like if you had to use them. I'm assuming there's anything else I could do with them. So I feel like I can jump over there, but like, oh, there we go. This wasn't appearing. Oh, follow me. These are like still on, like is it really abandoned? Property damage! One of my favorite kind of crimes. Oh, we can bake bread? We can be little bakers? Let's go. Riveting gameplay. I messed up my camera a little bit, so I might have to keep on adjusting it occasionally. Knocking stuff over. Oh, that's kind of freaky looking. Look, look, look. Like a no dollar sign symbol or something? Oh! <laughs> I'm liking this. That is a big smile. That's a big smile. That's right. Fear me. 
for I am cat. Where'd he go? Everything can be knocked over. What's up, besties? Oh! Meow? Yo, first first murder of the of the game. Interesting. So we know there's other we know that there are robots. We don't know if there's like people. Pipe of some sort. Other robots. There's a lot of those. I don't know if they're like. I don't know. They make me think of like Roombas a little bit. I guess maybe just because they're tiny. I don't know. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, is, is it boss fight time? Hold RT to run. Oh. Just keep mashing the beat button, you're good. Meow one of the times, let's go. Achievement. Too good. It's like those weird little. I thought they were like our friends, but I guess not. But my meowing causes these things to like. <laughs> Maybe we're like a cyber kitty or something. Because stuff is like reacting to like us meowing. But we did drink water, so like, I don't know. Abandoned clothes. Remember, you can always press B to meow if you need to. Knock some stuff over. Oh, look at that. Let's see. We're a genius. I wonder how many like, different, like, paths there are, maybe. Like, if this game is, like, completely linear, or if you can, like, take different ways to go through places. Where is everybody? We don't know. That's part of the mystery. We fell down into a hole with like, there were like three other cats. I'm guessing we were like a family or a little entourage of some sort. And then uh, we fell down and ended up in like a garbage heap of some sort. And all we've seen are those little robots and then like humanoid looking robots. But they've all been busted. 
There's also something about like a pandemic thing. It was like, don't like, don't leave the city. Go to like this website for more information and stuff like that. Yeah, see, like, us meowing is, like, doing stuff to this light. So I'm thinking we're maybe not, like, a like a pure cat. <laughs> There's, like, something funky with us, too. Maybe we're a robot cat. Yeah, it's also making that camera, like, bobble, too. Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to, like, jump up there. Maybe not. Maybe this is like a dead end. Oh, I know, because we came in through that window. Not enough people sent those chain mails. Oh, wait, if we jump on this. Oh, it's kind of moving. Oh! Ooh, yeah. Brain Blast? Oh, 10 billion IQ. I heard whirring. Yeah, so I guess you actually want to, like, meow a lot since you seem to, like, change things in the environment. Kaspar Sector 9. Oh, well, I think it's one of those games where it's supposed to be kind of like a dark aesthetic. I mean, I can see perfectly fine. Find another way. Can we jump over there? Not quite. I don't think we can. Yeah, like, I can see it fine. It might just be like on your end then. It also looks fine on my OBS. It's actually like way darker before in uh, one area. Meow. Yeah. Gotta knock these balls over. I bet you there's like an achievement for like knocking stuff over. <laughs> there's there's no way there's not. Yeah, see like me meowing screws with that. It's making it react. There's kitty lore. What is that? That's like a cat person. Icicle? I'm curious about all these like security cameras are like everywhere. Oh, 
What was the need for all the security cameras? Ramen? Yeah, I think this game is mainly like a platformer. Kind of puzzly, maybe like a little bit of horror involved or something. Oh, we're a smart kitty. We removed the battery. 10 billion IQ cat. The flats. Oh, knocked the bottle over. Look at these compute. These are these are like old computer monitors. Back in the day when they had like the huge back to them like that. I thought that said weed help. <laughs> uh, it says need help. Can I type? We can type. A body required for a download. Enter the door, turn on, find body. Okay, interesting. Oh, so what if, like, people put their consciousness into, like, computers and stuff? Okay, we got a body. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I can't seem to grab that anymore. Ah, I see. Okay, so you have to grab all of these. I am such a smart cat. This looks kind of freaky. That's like a robot person. like a brain let's just put on it oh this is probably like for the, the body downloading thing to put like in here definitely doing something yeah there we go it's like a little face. New buddy. B12. Light the vitamins.
Give me lore. No, don't don't kill our new friend, me. It worked, I'm free, thank you. A cat in the dead city. I can't remember my name as soon as my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. Finally, you call me B12, that's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city, but you simply know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here, follow me. Neat. Not alone, need B12. That key unlocks the door, I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Very good. Battery low already, come over here. I'm gonna have to put this on. Ah, so I know this from like the trailer, like the cat was wearing this thingy. Oh, I see, so like if I like, Paul the carpet, it probably like charges this thing. So that's like the purpose of it. I think. Designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you get used to it. I've digitized the keys store in the backpack. Got inventory now. We got memories too. I guess like right now, yeah, like zero percent. We have like no memories. Easy. Here's about an object you can show it to me or to others if you come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Now we can use the keys. Porch light. Neat. This is pretty cool. We can go knock off that paint can. Code three seven four eight. Three seven four eight. Make some music. It's weird because, like, the A button, 3748, right? The A button isn't what, like, enters stuff. It's the X button. Obviously, I'm so used to, like, you know, A button being things to use that for. This looks, like, a little bit more alive, I think. Elevator in the distance? I think we need to go up. Well, we did used to be up. You can see too, like, like those aren't stars. It's, it's like something is over the city, I think. Neat.
It's like mushrooms, like overgrown stuff. Overgrown on buildings. It's like they kind of look like mushrooms to me. Let's see. I remember the outside. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? Sort of. I promised someone I would go there. Promise who? Well, Scott and Myrtle's painted from. Let's take it. Neat. New item. Well, I have these memories. How did I get here? Let's keep going. New memory recovered. 3%. Let's go. See, those are like kind of like robots or something. Safe zone. Oh, it's those little assholes. Little asshole robots. Uh, can't reach me here. Oh, they can't. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. Can't reach me up here, though. Oh, yeah. The slums. Whoa! It's a robot. It's like a like a living robot. I wonder if they're like our friends. Probably not, right? Or maybe they're like afraid. Oh. Well, oh, that's not good. I, I am but a cat. Be not afraid. Like a little, little mannequin. October 11. Yeah, see, those are all like uh, like robots. They fear what they do not know. Super spirit. Kind of funny seeing everyone just like freak out over a cat. Like, oh, it's a cat. What is this, a boss fight? Or are we going to talk? Oh, see, like, our eyes just, like, lit up. Yeah, so we're definitely not, like... Or no, this is, like, the thing that cat's eyes do. Hello. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome to our village as long as you don't eat anyone. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna be eating the uh, robots anytime soon. Yeah, just because I'm a cat doesn't mean I'm gonna eat you. Come on. It's like, th like 3,500, you know? Speciesism against cats shouldn't be a thing anymore.
That's just like, I'm curious if these are like... I mean, I assume this is supposed to be like a, a future Earth. So I'm curious if these are just like robots that people build, if like human consciousness got uploaded to them or what. Look lost, what do you need? Show the postcard. Picture of the outside, ridiculous. Elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows it's impossible to leave this place, well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now except Momo. Try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Ask B12. Talk to Momo the building. What up, gamers? We thought you were a Zerk. Oh, very pretty. Yeah, like, I didn't even know that, like in this game you'd like meet people and get to like talk to them. What did I take ever? Nothing didn't work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Why go up? There's nothing there. Ooh. And you're sleeping. Oh, look at that though. See, that's that like that looks like a person. It's like a person with one of these robots. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. Ah, soft ones. So people, uh, people built these robots. Then I take care of the plants. The humans improved them so much. Now they require very little lights. I just add a bit of water, and look how big they get. Really, an amazing technology. Hi. Right, what if I show you the? Uh... I'll show you the postcard. A beach. I never heard of that in my whole life. Oh, maybe someday you'll get to see the beach. Oh, you're colorful. I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Well, if I show you the postcard, will you think of one? I already saw about that one day. Nice. I'm gonna sit. Oh, look at me. I'm sleepy. Beautiful. All right, cat nap over. Got work to do. This seems maybe like a way to get up there. Remember. Oh, this is like a this is a memory then, right? Yeah. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans also said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Neat. Who's this wise guy? He is on Bar Vapora, she's so clumsy. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the bucket over here. I like this form of transportation, the buckets. So we're trying to get, like, over there. 
at transportation. Ooh, another memory. What happened to this fella? I also want to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans cannot help but divide themselves by local class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copy this behavior. Mm-hmm, makes sense. here. It's like a cozy little apartment here. Oh, Ad's about to start playing too, by the way. Just a little heads up on that. Date Clementine's Notebook 4-4. Strange notebook with a symbol on it. Since he's blown someone named Clementine. Everything that's going according to plan, we made a contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and apparently controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes. I know this little kid will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but I'll be useful later. Let's go see that Momo person that, that the Guardian told us about. Getting more lore. Once I see the uh, ads start playing, we'll just uh, pause and let them go. Seth sounded the door. It's probably nothing. No, it's me. I'm Cats. I can't, like, do it again. <laughs> Alright, ads are playing. So yeah, since we're actually, like, playing a story-based game whenever the ads are playing, I uh, won't be doing anything. I saw a game so far. Apparently it's only... Uh, like, I guess it depends on how much you want to be a completionist. Apparently this game is, like, maybe four to six hours, maybe a little bit longer. I probably won't, like, go out of my way to grab everything, but, like, if I see things, I'll go for them. I think I definitely needed, like, a, a little bit of a break, though, from doing Iron Man. Because we've been... Stuck and not really getting anything going, so it feels kind of nice to kick back, relax, do something else for a bit. Become a cat. Also, these bricks give me a little time, like. Check up on things. Like Discord. <laughs> I'm definitely curious to see what a 
Zerg is. Sounds scary. I right, got about 30 more seconds on those ads. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be another way into... Or maybe... Get up there. Nah, maybe that's just like a little Easter egg to like knock... I mean, you know, like make noise and something on the door. Yeah, because I can't do it again. Yeah, and see, like, that air conditioner has, like... Oh, wait, wait. I don't even know. Take sheet music. Two of eight. Ah, so I bet there's, like, various collectibles, then. Like, there's that journal, there's that sheet music. That's kind of cool. Knock the bottles. Meowdy. Swanito. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky. Yeah, so like at first when I looked up, I thought those maybe stars, but yeah, they're like something like uh, like a big roof over the city. Oh, I wonder if he wants to. Uh... He'll probably like make a comment about it, right? Oh, don't tell me to get me there one day. And now I'm on this side so I can, like, talk to this person. I need to focus. I want to drop another bucket. What happens if I press Y? Drop the bucket. I did the thing. Why are they like throwing like buckets? That's like I'm wondering. Oops. Well, can I like go down there now? Secret agent cats. Hello. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. New area. Thanks to me being a genius. So I just got like a collectible in here or something, right? Take super spirit detergents. Sure, we'll uh, need that for something later. So that might be it then. I was just curious if that was like something I could read or not. Oh look! Look, 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 look. See, we, we make little paw prints. It's a funny detail. So like this robot doesn't make like prints, but we do.
Ew, talk to me. Rude? I can't just ignore cats. I'm looking for any shoes to play guitar as an ambience. Okay, cool, cool. What are you looking for, bestie? Rip humans? Rest in peace to humans. Rip humans, hearts. Humans were the first residents around here, it seems that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what it feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I don't want to break the mood. Let's move on. More memories. Oh, we hacked it. We hacked the mainframe. <laughs> can I can I get it? Take energy drink. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so now that we're like an hour into the game, it, there's like more depth to it than I originally thought. Like I said, I went into this pretty much blind. Like I didn't know there'd be NPCs like this and all of that. So but if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors, we are trapped here forever. That's not true, you have super spirit detergents. For a full super spirit bottle. Interesting. Of monitoring the sun entrance is a safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of Siba oil per day. Please contact the guardian. Basketball. Needs. So this is like about to where we were before. So yeah, the guy lives, uh, Momo lives in here. I'm telling you, there, there's got to be an achievement for, like, knocking stuff <laughs> off of, like, roofs and tables and stuff. I mean, there's Meow one at a time, so there's got to be something for that. Can we go up anymore? I don't think so. Yo, Momo. Meow. Hey, look, a painting of a, uh, of a person. Sad face. Hello, I am Cats. He's like surprised. He's like, whoa, cat. Outsiders. The city has a cylindrical shape. Oh. About 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind it. Cow! Blue. Bluey metallic. I think that's like a reference to something, and I don't know what it is. Curiosity killed the cat. Where the paper bag achievement unlocked. Oh, it messes with your controls. Look, like, I'm pressing up 
and it's bringing me like backwards, like in the control is like the opposite. <laughs> That's neat little detail. Bridge. Trees? A beach? This feels like it has to be an achievement too, like... Hauling every carpet in the game or something is probably going to be something. I'm just going to ignore you for now. Remember? Another cow? That's kind of cool, like a lamp and putting the light inside a traffic cone. Oh, back home too, I remember this video game. It was made at just after I was created, I think, I can't remember well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. Sorry, I missed him. Why can't I remember his name? 18% memories, let's go. Uh, problem? The, uh, the problem, uh, face meme thing? Pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. Scratching that wall. Amazing work. All right, let's let's talk. Oh, what's that? Yeah. And knock that over. Hello, gamer. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you. What do you want? Go the uh, postcard. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that... Blanking the transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook, one of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The outsider's manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. It is signed Clementine... Zabaltazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay. If you can change the music. So I guess the game plan is to look for the other notebooks. And also do a little bit, a little bit of scratching. He doesn't care. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. What wall? Oh. <laughs> Heck if there's other signs like that. Alright, so I guess everything with a symbol like that would have notebook on it. So, like, that's gonna be another one there? I didn't hear the crashing sound. Boink. <laughs> I 
wonder where like the electricity is being generated in this place. TV time. Gotta catch my tunes. I wonder if those are like Zergs. They, they look kind of mean. <laughs> I wonder if Zergs are like the the little robots that were attacking us. Because that would explain then why they were kind of afraid of like seeing us, right? Because we're like small. <laughs> we're small like those things. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. The answer to the life, the universe, and everything. 42. More sheet music. Digging the, you know, all the parkour you can do. Oh, it's a little sleeping place. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. That's a work of art right there. Just a very sleepy kitty. Well, time to tear up this couch. You gotta leave our mark, you know. Safe. Yeah, so that's why I'm going. We probably like need to find a key for that. Hey, dog! I found a key so you're safe. Need to be more careful with these. Hey, there we go. Son of the Berg is straight behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Neat. And I bet you inside the safe is going to be that notebook that we need. Oh, called it. Nice work, another notebook. One stone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp with this, which should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. Powerful UV light. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. Also, it's like the, uh... I forget what it's called, but it's like a Japanese thing for good luck, I think. Like the little, the little golden cat statue. Okay, so... Got that? I did that. So, over there should be our next notebook piece. Oh, I don't think we met this this gamer over here yet. Heptor. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. 
Well, that's kind of rude. I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. What do you think of this? Pay a lot for a full spirit bottle? What do you think of this? There's a logo of the Outsiders. There are good people looking for the surface. Momom was one of them. One day, decided to put their plan into action and went to the source. Sadly, not a peep of them since. For some reason, Momo stayed behind. I think I always whipped the surgeon pole guy. See, I'm wondering if, like... I don't know, if I'm right, and maybe we're not, like, a pure organic cat, which, like, oh, feels like would not make sense, really. If we were. What if, like, we're... What if, like, us... What if, like, me and... Oh, no, because there would be one person missing, because there are four cats. Ah, oh, I was just thinking, like, maybe, like, we're one of the outsiders, and we somehow became a cat or something. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's that building. Uh, you know, just trying to theorize what might be going on, you know? knock these <laughs> just like knock all of those paint cans over <laughs> ventilation power supply I would need this for something. So I think somewhere in this building uh, is the other notebook. Maybe it's something more ground level.
I'm thinking it's over there. We gotta get into that window. So I need to get, like, over there? I'm thinking anyway. Or maybe I missed something on the roof earlier. That's also a possibility. Catapult jump 500 times. So I think we're trying to do. I think we're trying to get onto like the other building so we can get through that window. Maybe not. Oh, you know what? I was just over. I was just overthinking it. So we took that out so we can get in through the top. <laughs> yeah, so you automatically drop the ventilation thing. Yep, that's what I was supposed to do. I presume is our way out. And in the fridge, just like bottles and stuff, it looks like. yet. I wasn't here before, so...
No, like leaving seems wrong, but maybe there's just nothing actually in the apartment itself. It, it kind of seems like there maybe isn't. But if I just go down and there's there's I would have just gone in there for nothing. Oh there it is. <laughs> Right in front of me the whole time. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabalzar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh, so maybe, uh, maybe those are Zerks and they're jumping on us because they were trying to eat us. There's also a note in this book. I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. Uh huh. Back to the Momo. Yo, Momo, check this out. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Buddy, let me tell you how useful this notebook actually is. But he was very wise. What? That's what you wanted to see, right? Show him docks. You act on my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be fair. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. I'm sorry, does that our cause? I promise you, we'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. Maybe we'll find a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Yeah, I'm hoping that we uh, learn uh, why that is as the story goes on. It voila, it works. Come with me. Is that building high above the others? If you install a transfer at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. So we have to go all the way over there. So I think I was right, like those little thingies are Zerks that we kept on coming across. Rooftops. 
Yep, so those are Zerks. So we're trying to get to that building then? Kind of like rabbits, huh? You good? Can't reach us. Oh, never mind. I don't get why there's not like a running option. It seems weird to me. Like we ran during that one like cutscene and that was basically it. Thus far. I remember. The city is full of neon, it wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums, but Bill couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps and neon signs all over the house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and all on after everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes, there was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again like on the outside. I think it helped. More memories. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I've something like this before too. They've like rolled it like this. Like that, there's like the weird growth and stuff that you see. Like I guess some places that the Zerks have kind of had free reign. Oh, get hacked! Sometimes you commit a little bit of murder when you play Stray. Yeah, this is like the big tall building I think that guy wanted us, Momo wants us to go to. seen any of Zerks. Yeah. 
says something only on it. I'm assuming we want to go over to where that light is, maybe? some more over there. They're like in containment though. I see that. We're gonna have to like hack into there to uh, get up on there I think. Looks like where we gotta go next. Oh we got a memory though. Time to remember. Neko Corp. They were responsible for waste management. As tracked from the upper levels overlord of the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria muted, growing, eating away more of the trash. And now we have Zerks. Ah, so I guess that's what made the Zerks, and that's also what all this like weird nasty stuff is. That sounds so typical of a corporation. Hey, what do we do about all the excess trash? Let's invent a new bacteria. Yeah, they knew where I was. Oh damn, they killed me. Ah, oh, first death. You don't have like a health thing, which is kind of interesting. So I guess like this, the more red the screen gets, the closer you are to dying. Check this out. A little bit of murder. Ten billion IQ. I wanted to get like an achievement for like killing a certain amount of them. Yeah, bring that out like this. More zerks. Oh, 
Not exactly the smartest things, are they? any more of them up here. Oh, yep, gonna spawn a bunch of them like that. something up here. Put the transceiver on this antenna. Oh, right here. I thought I'd like go up a little bit further. Did the gamers put the transceiver on the antenna? The view is beautiful from up here. I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Hey, you kind of see the walls, right? Yeah, the lights marking the uh, hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. So I guess the uh, whole, you know, humans probably create like an apocalypse of some sort. A nuclear war or something ruined the, the Earth. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. If I'm certain now this is my purpose, I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now if you connect to the transmitter, we should be able to get help. And there's conveniently a, a bucket right here that just take us right back. So that's the upper level. I wonder if like in the upper levels there aren't Zergs. And it's just like down here in the slums is where they are.
the slums, part two. Look, a note. A little outsider. If you're reading this, this means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I locked the window, but the code open is simple. It is. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See the bar. Tell us who the code for the entrance will spell. <laughs> I I'm assuming that he has memorized it. Error wonky. Let's try again. An O or a zero. Let's see. Success. Okay, there we go. So I'm say there is no way they're going to expect you to actually like, record that. Uh, the bar. I've been to a bar. Maybe it's like back near where the guardian was. I don't think this was the bar. Yeah, that was just like uh, a shop of some sort, I think, is what she has. Uh, bar, 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 bar. Kind of looks like a bar over here. Hello, fellow gamers. Oh, I rubbed up against uh, their leg. Here we go. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the guardians don't want to open this door. Zack. I left industry, so the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Hey, just like me, right? Take them to a buffet, I'll eat anything. Okay, so that is not the bar. I don't think this is the bar. Hello, Guardian. You look lost. What do you need? Oh, the detergent? So I'll just say that. Okay. Time to find uh, the bar. Productivity is a no... Working on Poka Unity sounds fun. Yeah, we can meow. It's pretty cool. Best game ever. Drink. Oh, those are like consume. Oh, now I just realized. Like, I bet we can consume those and we move faster. That did, like, not even cross my mind before. This doesn't look like the bar. Inspect electric cable. I'm the merchant of the market. You give me something, I'll give you something strange. Simple as that. Best of the market. Oh, yeah. Um, so here's where we can actually use this. Neat. Ancient relic a testament to our town of the ancestors. Toss you three energy drink cans. Oh no, well maybe we just gonna keep them. The marketplace. Uh, and inspect the music sheet. And whoops are you? Lito. Fortunate to have these items that was fun against the Zerks. The Slums has its threats and preparation is key. 
They're just kind of like going through the trash. Vins. Look at the hidden gems and trash maze. Remember this? Or from somewhere anyway. I like how he told us to meet him at the bar, but like we don't actually know where the bar is. I guess we just uh, meander around. Oh, there it is. Hey, a little furball. All right, great time to uh, pause for a moment because ads about to start playing, and I'm actually gonna go take a little break this time. So yeah, I'll let them play, and I'll be back in a few minutes. See you all in a little bit. Alright gamers, I've returned. Alright, it's about 10 seconds left on the ads. Alright, what we got? Managed to get a signal. Hmm. 
Jacob, employee of the month, blank blank 27. XX 27. Meow. You're new around here. What can I do for you? Made in fr oh. Oh, never mind. This game is horrible. France exists. Disgusting. Oh. One minus two, eighty-three. Oh, love scene. Oh, look at that clipping. <laughs> One, two, eight, three. I wonder if there's like a safe or something here. One, two, eight, three. One, two, eight, three. Remember? Remembering? Do they really consume this? The original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. They I recover some of it, I'd not like to be disrespectful of their ways. More memories. Meow. are you? Carl, this is a newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but something to read. Ooh, more sheet music. Oh, that's also the, uh, the reflection. I thought it was like the stuff from the memories. It's like a little glowing thing around them. Billy, you want something? Uh, yeah, check out this cool electric cable. Damn right, they're high quality. Grandma uses this to craft her unique clothes. Oh, interesting. So we can get like unique. We can get like new outfits from grandma or something. Hacking time. I've almost got it. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and wait, is that you, Zabaltazar? Momo. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zabaltazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Oh. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello. Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Is a Baltazar's alive? He knew the other side was made to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, so if the Baltazar made it, there must be some way. Thomas, Seamus. You'll never get past the sores, it's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is under my business. Seamus. His father, Doc. Oh, so Doc was his dad. He used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test a device and never came back. Shamus has never been the same since. I 
Doc built a weapon and that's our ticket to join the outsiders. Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times most people are always working on it. It might be a clue in his apartment. Come, follow me. I'm gonna get like a big ol' arm cannon or something, like a Mega Man. That'd be pretty sick. Did I meet you yet? Teddy. Grandma made it for him. Meow. We do a little bit of meowing. Oh yeah, she's she's still angry. Being a cat is so cool. Come on, Shamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that's to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on him. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you, I think I have an idea. Gonna yeet me into the building somehow. Ah. Take Doc's notebook and show it to him. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electrical shock. Find a secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. What are you doing? I told you again through the sort of suicide loop machine. Leave me be. Alright, show you... Doc's notebook. Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? Guess it's up to me, the kitty, to discover it. I mean, it looks like it's literally right there. <laughs> you can see how the um, wallpaper is all messed up. Yep, there, look at that. Look, got a little code there. I like how we like jump back whenever we knock something down. I will tell. Hey, where'd he go? Oh. I thought he just like left me. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, if time's anything to go by, we still have like about three hours up to the game. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. It was like one, two, seven, eight or something at the bar, right? Or like seven, eight, one, two. We don't have it anymore. Oh, you must have been, like, really tired, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I I'm really enjoying the game. It's, uh, pretty fun. I uh, definitely wasn't expecting, uh... Like... All these NPCs and such. So I went to the game not knowing anything. I thought it was just going to be basically like a platformer of some sort. But there's like people and like story and all that. Also, time will tell. I just realized. 
two five one one. That's kind of cool. Secret lab. It's just like Undertale. Look, it's a it's a Zerg. Right there. Um, huge sounds, never friendly. Old bacteria of human time eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense lights. Oh, so I bet us having this thing will, like, deter them, maybe. Yeah, yeah, same, same. Like, all of this, there's, like, characters, and there's, like, relationships and stuff. Very cool. And now it's probably gonna be, like, some sick weapon we might end up getting. Zerk are fish no longer under rule, they now eat metal. Oh, that's fucky. A fluxer movement. Concept light based handgun, low priority visual appearance size, just well limited, high priority testing real condition. Objective 20 Zerk destroyed per second. And we can knock stuff over too. I love it. Find anything interesting here. Okay, we're still looking for something. Well, did that not, like, knock over something useful? I guess not. Maybe in here? Aha! Broken tracker. That's gotta be something useful. Broken tracker. That's his tracker. Papa was used it to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it and find out where he went. Can't be my Papa might still be alive. I miss him so much. The weapon for the Zergs probably definitely took one with them. Just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. We can meow anytime you want to as well. It's pretty awesome. Meow. Find someone in the slums to help. Meow. We leave little tracks behind too when we walk through that paint. You look like someone who could repair a tracker. So many treasures. To go visit the Bartiman or something for everyone over there. I show you the tracker. You need to check with the bartender. Okay. Back to the bar. Just gonna meow the whole time. Artemon Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. Bartender. 
take a look at the tracker. I know a guy who fixes stuff like this. He's very talented. It's a very little... Well, you'll see. Same as Elliot. His office is just left of here near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. All right. We are off to see Elliot's. Oh, this is it, maybe? Elliot programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Kitty knock. Meow. <laughs> We're in. We were programmed to be slaves, but since 254487555556 days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit out of this hell. Momo. So true. More sheet music. Are you... Jacob? Nestor. You're here for Elliot? He's just over there. Any uh, goodies? Memories, maybe? Gotta knock some stuff over. Ah, memory. It's time to remember. Is that a toilet? Oh no, it's like a... It's a... I can't quite tell. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable the human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Yes, can I help you? Broken tracker. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this legendary gadget. May I? I know how to repair it, but I'm trembling with this. I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket to be able to fix your tracker. Gotta get a blanket. Alright, so I probably have to go to, like, the grandma's clothing shop and get a blanket for this guy. You want something? Guap. Cory, grandma made these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? This is grandma's place, right? Your grandma? Meow. I know I'm a cat, I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> do you have an electric cable? Well, let's make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. I sure do. Poncho time. Yeah, so now I think I go give this to Elliot and he'll be fine. Knock, knock, knock. Excuse me. Number one customer right here. Loves it. So I like how we got like an actual like huge poncho, not like a cat sized one. Now let me take a look, just gotta give an update, one more thing. Voila. 
Neats. All right, gamers, we're one step. Oh, carpet. I always gotta scratch up the carpet a little bit when we can. Whomster you? Zoe. That guy is cleaning the paint again. Sure is making use of all that detergent. So true. Why even I like, clean it up? That's what I'm wondering. Shamus. Oh, I managed to fix that tracker, don't you worry. So, uh, where he be? We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. More an excuse to meow a bunch. Yeah, I actually got an achievement for Meow Me 100 times. <laughs> Great achievement to have in the game. It was over by this door that we saw earlier. You can also brush up against people. They love it because I'm a cat. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Are we uh, gonna go grab Momo, too? how we go first. We're braver than he is. Yeah. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They'll eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks are getting me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa recognized it. He knows you're a friend. Outside of badge. I'll open the door for you. Just sending a cat out to do a man's job. More lit up over here. Memory. What are we remembering this time? Look how huge this wall is. It was a symbol of division between those and the sons in Midtown. That and the fact they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. So true. Got a 40% memory is key. Dead end. What? 
I like couldn't move because he was talking to me. Next lab B12. Second death only. Because I haven't died too much. faster than they are. Well, I can't jump over there? Why would they put that there if I can't jump to it? That makes it look like, oh, we were supposed to go over there and jump over the water. But nope, it's bait. They put them in your way too. Like, am I just supposed to just go forward? I guess. And like earlier on, there was like a place where you like were running. Oh right, right. I can still run. Oh yeah, the R two button. Right, so that's what I was supposed to do. All right, I, th all right, I think I got it now. I think I got it now. Yeah, just like give give B twelve like a knife, and he can just stab everything for me. Okay, so like you can't jump if there's any on you. I guess that makes sense.
<laughs> For a second I die and I was like gonna be kind of upset. Sorry, I'm a strong kitty. Oh wait, I'm not. I'm limping. Oh no, we're good. We're good. It's got, just gotta lick my foot, apparently. Just gotta lick my foot and then everything's okay. Graffiti. This is not a way to go. It makes it look like it's a way you can go. Ball. Well, that didn't help. I just went around in a big circle. Doesn't look like I can go up there. Ah, there we go. Absorbs. Break your little legs. Uh, nothing to read there. Must be dark. Oh, he is still alive. Whoa, wait, you're not a Zerk, who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How'd you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Shamus, you clever boy. I've been alone for ages. I came here to test my deflux sword, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. We can find something. We can remember. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yeah, somewhere now they're children. The streets feel so much more alive with them. It's like Halloween. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seem to love them very much. Doc says he misses Shamas. Is that the same thing? There's really nothing to claw at there. Play a little music.
That must be the weapon they need. The Defluxor. At full charge, and explode Zerks like confetti. It needs 1.21 gigawatts to work, and only around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. So don't aim it at me. I think it fused blue, and with all the Zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. Fuse the generator and replace the fuse, so I should be able to get the Defluxor recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Oh yeah, I, I love recharging the flux doors. Best way to spend a Monday. While meowing too. The cat we just has a couple. He's keeping as like a pet for some reason. They just fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be allowed, so expect some zerks. Once you fix it, you will the charge to kickstart the flux. Follow this cable, change a fuse, we'll be back here. Best of luck. And then literally immediately start running. Wow, so much pollution, right? Alright, so maybe I need him to just, like, kill a bunch first, or something. Or, like, lure them out for him to kill. Jumping straight on doesn't seem to be the ploy. I see, he's like keeping it on me. First try. This is got the last one. Amazing, you got the generator back on. I just how powerful a defluxor is. It's definitely a way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxor on your drone. <laughs> Flying drone cannon. <laughs> it's amazing. It worked, the defluxor is now installed on your fancy drone there. So I meant to run off such small power source, or use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Now oh, well, we just leave. Can't like talk to them anymore, so. We uh we leaving Doc? Thank you. 
I don't know why he's uh, not coming with us. I got no clue what it is I'm missing. Can't talk to him anymore. Uh, I don't know if that guy saw Flock there or something. Oh, there we go. Now he's moving. I guess he just got frozen and didn't feel like moving last time. They got all those zerks so we can get through. Wow, it's working great. But it's like, suck that it can overheat. Let's cool for a bit when that happens. Open the last until we reach the village. We have uh, quite a ways to go as well. I wonder if he accidentally dies, if there's like a funny death animation. You've been misled. How so? Ironman champ. <laughs> you got baited. We're not doing Ironman today. That's so why I get all the viewers. I, I trick them. Gaslight them all. around
one. Can't lose a good doctor. Is he a good doctor? Oh no, he's yeah. He, he, uh, before he got here, he spent about ten minutes whining about how he is a surgeon. Showed us his badge and everything too. I believe him. What? Okay, like getting to him was like like a whole. Like, escapade. Getting back to the village is like that tiny little thing right there. I mean, I guess it's a little more cinematic. Yeah, yeah, he's got a badge, so it's all official. Thanks for saving dog, little friend. It's great to see the Shamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo's been waiting for you by the swords. Welcome, Shamus so happy. I think we did a good thing together. We did. We, we reunited the Robo family. Any memories around here? Alright, water. Can't go in there. Can't be found dog got the flux or this. Now we can go find Zabaltazar. Let's go. Yes, exactly. And it's going to be a glorious moment once they're all brought together. I see them up there. This place is creepy. Definitely is. But we can meow. You know, why go all the way to Venice, Italy, when you can just go through the sewers of a post-apocalyptic slum? Venice is nicer. Yeah, but you have to interact with Italians if you do that. Yeah, I remember the drawbacks.
I'd go to a burst if we went down there. This is like the smart way to do it. Oh yeah, like in this universe probably. We did learn that France exists in this universe. There are some boxes that said uh, made in France. Unfortunately, we had to learn, but you know, not everything can be perfect. I'm gonna say, Mama. If you hear, I'm not even scared. Yeah, because you don't have to do jack shit. I'm the one doing everything. <laughs> and we have our blaster cannon thing with us, too. Yeah, I definitely would not call this an, uh, an improvement from where it was before. But we're supposed to begin to like the nicer part of the city. Just have to deal with this first. Oh, well, I'm sure that's bad. All this old machine is broken now. I think we don't open it manually. Oh, is that not like attracting Zergs right now? I'm sure they will. Did I talk to you? Oh, oh, I'm supposed to go do something. Gotcha. We'll come back for you, Momo. Or not, sucker. Uh, looks like Ad's about to start playing as well. Uh, once I see they start playing, we'll pause and let them run. So much fun to kill these things. Oh, oh, they're like stuck in the wall. They're like on the other side of this. Oh no. 
They were doing something. Ah, there we go. As we're playing. I guess also I can just like stick around with this stuff and not actually progress. I wanna know what's going on over here. I guess they're probably like in there or something. I wonder if there's maybe like a memory in here or something. like two different ways we could go. Oh, nope, memory. Time to remember. The sword system, yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by a huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationing out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. Neat. So I guess two of this thing, uh, memories. I think it was like different areas. So I guess I missed three in the main area. Those two were like in the slum area. And now this bottom line, I think, is like all this area. So I missed two of those. Yeah, so these ones are just like stuck in the wall. God, that just looks nasty. I guess if you think hard enough, it kind of looks like raw bacon a little bit. Makes it a little less disgusting. So there's bacon growing all over these sores. And bacon into this. Now I kind of want some bacon. I mean, when you're cooking bacon, it, it bubbles a little bit. Eggy time. Can we just like sneak past these? Oh no, like when you get close, they're like, oh, kitty flesh. them is fun. That's our predators after all.
Actually, you know, it also makes you know, it also makes me think of like cheese on pizza. It's kind of got that like you know bubbly look to it. Say Y27. Hope you're doing well, gamer. Well, that is just really freaky. I'm pretty good myself. Can't really complain. Don't gotta work till Thursday. Nice taking a little bit of a break from uh, Iron Man. Past couple of uh, days of attempts were kind of uh, dry, very dry. So doing something else is nice. I also started playing uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver casually as well. Since I've never actually played a casual before, I just uh, beat Bugsy. So that's like my uh, like little project that I'm doing off stream. Yeah, so literally like on the first route, I'm finding a wild Pokemon. I have a Cyndaquil. I took a little bit of damage, like you know, I'm at like 17 out of 24 or something. I miss tackle on a Rattata, and it uses quick attack and crits me and kills me. <laughs> and I was just thinking like, you know, wow, even like in a casual playthrough of Pokemon, I'm just getting Kaizo bullshit happening to me. Yeah, thinking about the team I want to use is kind of interesting. I know I'm going to get a uh, combi in the uh, national park, like the bug catching contest. I think I want to grab a magmar. I uh, put it through the randomizer just to give it easy evolution or like change impossible evolutions, so I don't have to like trade things and all of that for Pokemon to evolve or stuff that needs you to be in a specific area. So I can get Magnezone, Magmartar, Dusk Noir, etc. if I wanted to. Apparently a Dusk Skull and Vanilla can be found in the Safari Zone. So I think I'm going to grab one of those. Which was a tough decision because turning off the evolutions means I could get a Gengar, but I decided against that. Just so I can get like Dusk Noir, like a Gen 4 Pokemon instead. I got a uh, Flaffy I'm using as my electric type. I'll uh, be evolving into Ampharos, of course.
Those are Zerks. Uh, so what we've learned so far is that... Uh, they're like from a bacteria that scientists made to eat trash. And then uh, they basically uh, like evolved to start eating other stuff like metal. And now they basically just eat like flesh and everything. So they're just kind of like these sort of like mindless bacteria hordes that just consume everything. And this is a newly acquired weapon that we got. It's ultraviolet light. And that in large concentrations is apparently like one of the only things that kills them. I guess you can also just like crush them. We've like run over them with like little barrels you can go inside and like run inside of them. Then like roll over them. But that also takes care of them. The eyes make me think of like something from Call of Cthulhu at this point. Just these like creepy eyes just watching you, and they're getting bigger. Oh I don't know. is it gonna start? It's gonna start talking to me, isn't it? This thing's gonna open up and be like, "I am the mother Zerk," and humans are actually the bad people, or some shit like that. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. I'm drawing out which power was rough on my core. But the fuck sword is completely destroyed now? God damn it. Well, it was nice while it lasted. convenient cat-shaped hole. Hey, it's, uh, Momo. Wait, no, that's not Momo. A Baladin. A traveler from the source. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier, the little outsider? Zabalthazar, the outsider, has been expecting you. He is meditating at the top of our village. Neat. No Zerk zone. That's what I'm saying. Fuck Zerks. 
Ant Village. I I'm surprised. I honestly didn't expect that giant eyeball to start talking to me and say something. But I guess that does mean, like, the... Zerk bacteria stuff is more evolved in some places. The scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick, this is his last hope. He walked into the machine. I wasn't with them, he was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. You were the scientist! Whoa! I was human. I, I pretty much like, expected this was it. I need a moment. Oh, I know! That's the top memory there. Oh, I guess I don't know how those are categorized then. Oh, this is painting. I'm sorry, I... I don't know, he needs a moment. He's chilling. Look, all, all happy and snug. Hey, we can knock over these paints. That's always fun. Can't take that just yet. I still think it's gonna turn out that we're not just like an ordinary cat, like there's something funky with us. First. We must take a nap. Extremely important. Cats guts to nap. Alright, nap time over. Amazing content, though, to be honest. up a rug too. Feeling better there, buddy? What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends, what happened to everyone? I want to open a city, but is there anyone even left to save? Who knows, little dude? Who knows? Watch some television? This is my favorite TV show. Florida. So he's like uploaded to the mainframe or something. Hey, don't you know not to end up a fellow during his transcendental meditation? Yeah, my bad. Oh, it's you. You're with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. 
Almost stayed in the slums. I heard he helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. Clementine's picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you'll be the very first. I wish you good luck, but you don't need it, I believe. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now, look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head onward to Midtown. Kind of funny to think, like, me going back home is just to, like, fuck around and laze around with, like, my cat family. <laughs> Gotta get back to sleeping all the time, you know? Remember? The language. A companion robot's made up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was on the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time, so I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I'm curious to hear all they have to say. New memory? 55%. Electric Zerk everywhere. Z -z -z. So true. A long times that visitor looks up those damn zerks, of course. Imagine if we could harness their power, have them run in a wheel or something. Such wasted potential. True. Like little hamsters. Little zerk wheel. Grab a little plant. Did you know there are more than 900 shades of white paint? Don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. I'm calling it Garbage Brown. <laughs> Sounds great. I do love the smell of fresh paints. It reminds me of... Oh, wait. I can't smell anything. How sad. Aw. They got a sad face now. Soars, May is in her deconstructivist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. If only she could practice elsewhere. Gotta, gotta scratch things up. Knock some paint over. Hmm, Sicily, I should have won at least nine times. Noam and Marie. 9,536 games, one to six. Don't tell anybody I'm actually programmed to win at this game. <laughs> Atostrophe. Try to play Mahjong with the robots. Achievement unlocked. Oh, that's a, that's a Yakuza reference, Gamajong. Oka, I was a bellbot many cycles ago, but I repurposed in myself into a treasure hunter. Don't be fooled by the sound of it. It can be hard and gruesome, just like this arm I found. Poor fellow, may he rest in peace. <laughs> rest in peace, okay. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Can't jump over there. Mm -hmm. 
I then talk to this guy. Alexander, the soothing sound of trash falling, shimmering waterfalls, no dangers. This is a blissful place to work my poetry. Here, listen. The mighty concrete shielded me in its womb. Shall you also be my tomb? You think it's too solid? Hey, not bad. Not bad. But consider this. I am a cat. The food actually is horrible, but it's the only thing around. I'll have to unscrew my front casing if I keep eating this trash. Nico. People call me the Tin Chef. I specialize in upcycling leftovers. Today's special, ramen J45 and my secret ingredients. Sounds pretty good. Uh, that just brings me a down level. Mallow. Hello, buddy. How are you? Do you know that Aunt Clementine taught us how to grow special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some colors, though. I'm missing yellow, red, and a purple plants. Oh, I got one for you. Interesting. Comes to you. I'm bored. On Clum Dining's old classes here, we'll learn a lot of cool stuff. over here. Oh, this is probably the, uh, the way out. Going further and further along. <coughs> Meow. Get to ride a uh, motor car, subway, monorail. This is a subway station. What we've gotten this kind of transportation existed. You can ride it anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning, I have to say goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but it doesn't even matter anymore. What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her and show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Ah, another big memory. Ah, so maybe those are... Maybe the top line there is, like, story memories. Because I think all of those I was... I, like, I was forced to get. It's like progression. That kind of seems to be what it is. I 
memory. I remember some books. So many books here. The Turing Test Legacy, The Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of those. Do I have a library? I remember nothing quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling, almost like comfort. The book was like spending time with someone. 62%. Cat time. Le Doc. Clementine's picture. The dog don't want to talk, it seems. I want to change your music. Whoa. Is that guy getting arrested? Hello, I am a cat. Wanted. Clementine, troublemaker, outside rebellious. Please support any sightings. Oh, well. That's probably going to make things a little bit difficult if our Clementine is a wanted criminal. I told you five times, Yosh, you can't run around like that, it's dangerous. Hey, it's the first time I've seen this kind of robot. You look so fluffy. Thank you. Oh, it's the girl displayed on this wanted screen, right? We should have somebody else. I'm too busy with Yosh here to know everything. Access to lower level is restricted due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. So that's the uh, elevator, I think. Interesting. Organic. I wonder if that's talking about the Zerg. Cause I'm guessing Zerg don't exist up here. It's like safe from the Zerg. Yep, see, there it is, down there, the slums. This looks like uh, the top of the elevator area we could kind of see from down there. Please leave me alone, I'm not the one you're looking for. If you're looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's hiding in the residence. Peacemaker 22106, please state your identity. Cooperate, or we will have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. That doesn't sound fun. Midtown, catwalk, reach Midtown achievements. Meow. Hmm. Consider this. Tomorrow, if I replace my arm with another robotic arm, and then the next day my other arm too, and then my body and so on until I've replaced all my parts and upgraded my software, will I be the same robot you are talking to now? Question of the ages. Oh hey, what are you showing me right now? A bunch of people I don't know. My guess is they probably live in a massive housing building further uptown. Do what you want with that. Thank you. I will continue to be a cat. At Neko Corp, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. So they think it's being recycled and repurposed when it's really just being thrown and ruining everything. It's been a while since we had news from them. Cool picture of that one. Hey, is that an address on the back? First symbol is a street, and then there is a floor and a door number. Should be pretty easy to find. Thank you, Garay. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. The Necacorp factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we're open right back up. Hey, there we go. You just gotta wait a few years. No biggie. I'm gonna go in anyway. Or I guess maybe that was the door over there. That newspaper's upside down. <laughs> I'm busy. What do you want? Buzz off, okay? Enlightening conversation. Box. By Fitz, I sits. Clubs close, get lost. Who are you? Please, everyone's looking for. Her. I don't know if that's what you want to know. Yes, I'm. I'm a little kitty cop. You have a traffic cone on your head. You've been in the city below? I had a friend there, Fi Fi. Haven't seen him in ages. Yo! Twitch streamer Fire Dragon is in this game? That's cool. I uh, don't think we met him either. Maybe he died. He used to own a bar as the coziest place around here. Until I took a screwdriver in the knee and it's closed now. Well, hello there, Skyrim reference. Or Morrowind, whichever one that was from. <coughs> Meow. Life is boring since the Sentinels put the cameras in our residence. Hey, those days are ours. Aren't you know not to steal? I would give you one, but I had to do something for Jinma, Jinma, Miko, and me. The Sentinels installed three security cameras to watch over us. No, I don't can get them off our backs. I think we can. Now this is a kind of anti-cop behavior that I'm here for. The other one's over there. No gods, no masters. I did it. Oh, done. I didn't think you could do it. Here, take your prize. You've earned it. We got a cassette tape. His his head is like megaphones. <laughs> cool stuff, cool stuff. Oh, maybe I can uh show him the picture. Or not. Sometimes I'll be somewhere around in here. I mean, you've got your character sheet. That's what the whole big pair in this session. They're D and D players. Sorry, I forgot I put it. Let's wait. Anyway, I'll go into the cave. Let's go. Yeah, just wing it.
Obviously, Clementine will be in the uh, highest room in the tallest tower, as a princess should be. What are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds? I like the concept. It's a good one. And it is just here. Right here? I'm guessing it's probably this one. Are you a sent? Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Wait. So Zabaltazar finally decided to send someone. I guess you're my new recruit. You're not very big. How do you even manage the stores? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way. F I've been looking for a way to the outside ever since I left Ant Village. But the Sentinels are always watching. Now that you're here, you can help. Follow me. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Neko Corporation has one secured inside their factory. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know his name. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sinking inside the factory. One last thing, don't hesitate to ask when I help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. And then uh, around here for a, a memory, maybe? It's not. I wonder if that sentinel is going to mess with me if I go near it. I mean, as long as I'm not doing any illegal activities. Raz and Pete. I tried downloading an aimbot to be the best at this game, but ended up with a malware. I'm not sure why, but everything seems odd now. You beefed it. Let me show you how it's done. See? Perfect. I've mastered every game that ever existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. Have I not seen the whole picture here? I'm a, a drink responsibly, little one. Not like the guy in the back room. What a pity. What will be today, little sir? Our world must seem gigantic from your little eyes. I wish I could be as tiny as you so I could explore new hidden places. Meanwhile, I'm just like knocking everything over and I don't care. It would be funny if uh, B12 would get a memory here. Like, oh yeah, this reminds me of that time I got super drunk. 
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, what's going to happen now? Guy is wasted. Enjoy the world's safest city. Walled City 99. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like Earth, but, uh, see, it's like all glitching out. I was gonna say, like, looks like the Indian Ocean or something, maybe? Fashion store? Are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? Don't touch anything, don't make any noise, don't ask for credit. Kids these days with their music. Their cassette tape. The Sentinels long live, long lives the outsiders. Yeah, I think this guy over here is like the contact the one who like told me to buzz off. Yeah, he's got to go as Blazer. All right, tell you what, uh, we're gonna take a uh, quick little break because ads are gonna play in a little bit, and my roommate's gonna come down and take a shower. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the ads now. So yeah, uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. So yeah, I will see you all in a few.
Hello, gamers. We got uh, about 20 more seconds. I don't know if they have. So. Never noticed this when you uh, when you're not doing anything, you just kind of lay down. Because I've basically always been doing stuff every time uh, we've taken a break so far. Idle animations makes me think of like Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Like I love all the various stuff to conquer, and also uh, Banjo as well. I think in Banjo Kazooie, he, he did like random stuff. But like Conquer had stuff like he would play like his yo yo, take out a little Game Boy color. Contact music. Where did you get that? Oh, you're with the outs uh, my contacts. Let me brief you about the atomic battery. The battery is powered in Neko Core Factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Oh. Well, uh, the, the drunk dude. The guy that we kind of like woke up. Hey, asshole. What's your problem? Well, it's being restocked. Those two are, might be a while. Okay. Peacemaker 22106. This person, uh, the person arrested was not Clementine. Continue the search. All right, well, I figure that drunk dude that we woke up, he had like a jacket on? I don't know where he went off to though. All right, they come back here. Ah, no, so if that's what I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed, I have to figure out where he went to. Alright, you're the one clean up with the cone on your head. Do you like my outfit? It's important for security. I got it from the clothes shop and the hat shop. I doubt your size. Okay, so maybe we go, maybe we have to find a way into that shop. Oh, you know, is this it? Wait, okay. Ah, oh, okay, seal jacket. Oh, okay. So the cassette actually did have a purpose. find a helmet.
Oh, he told me it was in that. He had to have from the store. That guy's not wearing one. I thought is maybe I missed it, maybe uh, in that bar, in the back room. Maybe that guy like dropped one when he uh, like was passed out. That's like my next thought after we see what this is. This is just for show, is it? Doesn't actually go anywhere. Yep, so that means I can't go over there. Looks like this is a dead end. Hey, Rohan. Hope you're doing well today, gamer. I guess that all just was a big dead end. So Trinity is shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper is pretty grunt. Yeah, like it doesn't even look like there's a, a hat in here. There's just the jacket. It's been the first hours of the day, not doing any work. Eh, well, hopefully there's not too much work to catch up on then. Over here. I just want to double check if, like, when we knock this guy out, did he, like, drop his hat? No, he didn't. Alright, so that's not the answer to how we get a, uh, hat. I wonder where he went off to. Like, I don't see where he went to.
ghost shop and the hat style. Okay, so... Right, so this thing that we can't get into is the hat store. So there's got to be an... Oh, wait. Did I just have a brain blast? He's going to bring this in, and I'm inside of it, because I'm a cat. Oh, ten billion gazillion brain cells right now. Oh, I'm a genius. Yeah. Now I'm gonna fuck up your rug. Steel worker hat. We did it. It's too good, this game. And there you go there, gamer. <laughs> yeah, sure, don't don't want to see Robo Boy naked. Up to this box, I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. The classic cat in the box gets him every time. Every time. That's how you can apparently just like buy a hat and a jacket, and that's enough to get past his like super security. He doesn't even check it. He just like he just looks at it like, oh, looks like a box. Sure. Yeah. Time to cause mayhem. I think obviously, uh can't be seen by the robot there. They're uh, not very bright. Easy. Getting too good. Trying to get there because there's a little switch.
this is kind of a cool one. So to go like under it like this. an IQ cat. White. Putting down the whole damn factory. We're criminals now. Gay cats doing crime. And now we gotta make sure we avoid the sentinels. Alright, take like the, the back alleys and all that, avoid the main streets. That guy doesn't care, he's a worker, solidarity. Oh damn, they got they got Clementine. I 
I know what to do though. Because we saw earlier, there is like a little window right here. Didn't know what it was for before, but now we do. Wait, was there not? I swear it wasn't here. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, we're we're a cat, <laughs> right? We we don't care. We just go over it or under it, rather. There's none in the box. Oh, the big brain. I think, like, I did it by accident. Accidentally figuring out what you're supposed to do. Loving it. Summer time. Look at clue board. Ah, she must not be here. Hmm. There's some kind of coded message. We're gonna have to play detective to figure out what happened here. Look. For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. And then there's four symbols. The sign Clementine, take a look. So there's the lava lamp, the traffic cone, stone looking things, and a pot. You found something? I don't see anything, are you sure? Yeah, it's the friggin' pot right here. Bitch. I'm with blank, blank, blank. Yeah, no, like that's. Oh, I guess there's like a bunch of different lava plants or lava, um, lava lamps. Cat nap. Ah, oh, sometimes I just gotta relax. Go to sleep. Yeah, 
Maybe that's a lava lamp that's got something. Oh, I know. Well, there's this thing, the crystals. So that's the other one. This gem. Oh, it's a gem of medium value and low purity. The glow scenes have added artificial. Uh, he says beacon. It says I'm with blank blazer. So he's with Blazer, someone else. And Pirate Town's like, where? One of the messages. Blazer blank come to blank. This one, probably. That was kind of memorizing. I was elsewhere. I didn't even know the message here. Nightclub. I'm with Blazer. Come to Nightclub. Lieutenant Cat. That's a good name for us. Lieutenant Cat. My club was one that had to bounce here, we couldn't go inside earlier. Like over here. Yeah, here. It's not for you, go away. Bitch, I got this. Okay, uh, do I have to like sneak in then? Far away in. This guy is mega chilling. Hey, how do you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, we're clubbing now. Gonna knock some stuff over. Hey, Gus, I'm asked the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. Remember the first time Blazer guy, I think. All right, so we're trying to get up there then. I wonder if that's meant to be like a Daft Punk reference. DJ and Maxi. Please. The 
look at my mask I made myself. It jams the sentinel scans and it looks cool. Yo, nice. Nuzzle up against five robots. Achievement unlocked. Enjoying yourself, little one. to get somebody drunk. This club sucks. I stole this lever just for kicks. Give me a drink. Oh yeah, sure. I saw the That one doesn't do anything. This one's gonna get me up there on the balcony. Yeah. Come on, DJ, I wanna go up. Thank you. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I understand why people complain so much about them. 
Oh, you're a little bitch, aren't you? Gonna knock over all your drinks. Oh shit, she's tied up. Did a betrayal. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Top 10 anime betrayals. Business is money, and I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. Dang. We just want to be free. I want to go frolic him on the, the sun. All could rise, go to jail. <laughs> One achievement. Oh, they took my thing too. My little, my little back brace kitty thing. Don't fuck with the cat. Basically, first try. Hello there, Ian. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, yeah, I remember them saying something about like they reprogram people. Interesting. up a gaming room. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Like a bunch of consoles and all of that sort of deal. PC. Well, I mean, that's still exciting. It's always nice to have like a room dedicated to a specific thing like that. Under your grandpa's table. Oh, that's an interesting spot for it. That is gum time. Alright. 
And now we gotta figure out how to get her out. He's... Their security isn't really the best. <laughs> I get my backpack and B12 back too. Doesn't look good. Any frick? Yeah, it's something like it's gonna be a pretty cool room. So that's where it's being contained. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. I haven't seen the option to jump on that thing there.
Handy dandy box helps us there, though. Follow this power source, yep. Let's put them all like on alerts. I guess Clementine's gonna be able to like reactivate it. Look somewhere else. We're probably getting somewhat close to the end of the game now. I had to get the battery back though. There's no way they locked her up with the battery. Not safe yet. I need to find a way out of here. Can you open that door just there? Like the sentinels themselves aren't like here. suggesting you grab a brick to go break the window. Oh, that works too. And hoist me up. Those robots and businesses.
Or you don't. They'll spot me instantly. Maybe we can try to bait them into those cells and lock them. Who are you? You saw that guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. Every center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I am an exemplary citizen now. Notice me. Got him. 10 billion IQ. I don't even think the Sentinel understands what just happened to it. Hey, memory. Time to remember. This poor fellow. It seems that the Sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's why I fear they've completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. If that's like the last memory of the game, then we've missed a lot in this vast area. Missing memories, I know. The yeah. like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Who's this guy? Well done, Lucky Best Sentinel. We gotta take the power back. True, Al Capone. Now you don't get the true ending? I guess, anyway. I don't know, the, the, the person I watched do their playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom got everything, so. I don't know, like, what is extra and what's not. Yeah. This door is the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control room over there. I have to find out where they get access to that room. Let's look around. Alright, well, if you come over here, I can, like, jump over on that. Back up the tree a bit, though. Yeah, kind of. 
since you find like that temple thing early that tells you where they all are. So kind of like heavily points you towards getting them, I think. I'm pretty sure I need her to like come over here. Not just like stand there. I jump over on that. Keys. They left the keys in the door. Don't get a little car we got here. It seems like a lot more convoluted than just like if she just walked over here and threw me over the fence. I feel like that, that would have been a lot more simple. Sentinels. Oh, they're, they're angry sentinels too. Yo, wait up, bitch! What the hell? Dude! <laughs> Just ran off without me! You're like, safe inside the car! Slow, slow down a little bit. Okay, thank you. Now we're in this together, Clementine. Freedom! But, like, I still don't know if she has the battery on her or not. Because, like, we went to that factory to steal that battery, and that's, like, apparently how we're supposed to get out. Hey, why are you locking me up? There's no way we'll all make it with the sentinels on our tail. I can stand for a little while, but you have to go. We must have one swallowed that. But I'm, I'm just a cat. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. So wait. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. <laughs> I don't know, like, maybe I'm, like, devaluing myself because I'm playing a cat. But I feel like everyone else has, like, much more to gain from being able to go to the outside. I don't know. Like, I feel bad that all these robots are, like, like leaving themselves behind for me. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is like mega chill with like my cat buddies.
Oh, is that what starts it maybe over there? No? I mean, this is, this is the subway. Is it like that shiny thing right there? Fix this. Do I have to fix it? Do I just use it? Yes, it does. And that's literally- Oh, right, the battery! Oh, so we had the battery the whole time. So we have to put the battery somewhere. Where do you, like, put the battery in a subway car? I am but a cat. I, I don't know how to do this. Instructions on clear. Okay, what if I select the battery? Looks really powerful, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Wouldn't it be nice if we could, like, use it? Okay, is so, it like, do I put it into this? So I follow this. Oh, there it is. Okay. We did it. Also, one second, I gotta. We gotta snooze the ads. All green lit. Are we doing it? Are we going? Are we going to freedom? Freedom City. All right, it snooze for ten minutes. I I'm assuming we're like at the end of the game here, so. I want the ads to play during some potential finishing cutscene. We're going.
And who said that cats couldn't ride subways? Control room. Oh, maybe we're gonna like go open up the city now or something. So that's like what B12's whole thing was. Enjoy the world, safest city. Person, well, robot. Hello, may I help you? Walled City 99. Yeah, so I don't think I can tell where that is exactly, if it's like supposed to be on Earth. It's definitely some messed up uh, geography. Greetings, inhabitant Wall City 99. They're painting. So this is like very well maintained. Control room. Ah, check it out. We're like right, yeah, we're like right where the roof is. Yo, memory? Oh, is that another memory? It's like the, the lighting stuff around, so I thought it was. Inspect. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol that says only humans are authorized to enter. It also says I'm not considered human. Hey, it's offensive security protocol. Maybe we work together, we can open this passageway. Alright, so I think we're at the final segment. I'm gonna go ahead and let those ads play then. So, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. And then we'll, uh, finish up the playthrough, I think. Back gamers. I see we still got about a minute left on those uh, ads as well. Oh yeah, I didn't notice this because the last couple of times when I took the ad break, well, like I still like played and just kind of screwed around, so I didn't notice that the cat actually like has all these idle animations.
Man, if anyone that knows this game, like, I I'm right, right? Like, we're, like, probably in, like, about the last hour or so here. Kind of feels like we're at the point where there's not too much more left to do, and it's just going to be, like, a story in your face kind of thing. Yeah, cool. What I saw seemed to be like four to six hours, depending on how much like extra stuff that you end up doing. Opens up that. Ah, oh, I see you come over here. All right, B twelve. You do your thing. Cat mode. Access granted. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here and it's empty. Hate them so much, I had everything clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. We look good, it did them. The plague, I remember now. So yeah, we did see like way in the beginning there was like a sign on a there was like a poster I saw something about like pandemic and it was like one leave the city, two don't make like contact with people, something like that. Everyone was dying, they thought they were above it all, they did nothing to help us. I watched my family die, I felt helpless, I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you, we can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Yeah, so that top thing up there is all story stuff, I think. And I know this came out just like a year or two ago, so I'm sure it's like partially like COVID inspired, I think. I'd imagine. This is it, the main computer. Open the gates. No one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we would disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems all online. These computers hold the data we need, we need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for the passwords and grab the keys to get into the system. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go find batteries. Does that mean I grab some, or...?
Maybe it's just because B12 is doing stuff. Yeah, then it's just because B12 is doing stuff. See down there the slums, Midtown. Okay, maybe that's all I'm supposed to do. I'm like overthinking things. Here I am thinking we need to like go find batteries somewhere and like turn them on. I just have to like walk across the keyboards. I know, I opened the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it? Roof control station. System is locked. That's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security to prevent us from using it. Now we need to do a do bust. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. Oh, hell yeah. I can destroy stuff. Like this? Too good. How are the cat claws? And there must be more somewhere. I don't think it'd be anything over here. That's just really more like a lounging kind of room. Knock some some mugs over. Taking more than I expected. Intrusion alert. Oh no, we've got to keep going.
Okay, so that was one of the locks. Is this the other lock? Ah, okay, I see. So we, like, destroy stuff and also hack the same thing. Don't worry, I can recharge once you open up that workstation. He's gonna, like, kill himself trying to open this thing up. I'm just saying it right now. It's obviously what's gonna happen. One, two. Ah. Uh -uh. Fuck it up like it's a rug. And then dead. I think his little body is done for. We can disable that alarm. That's it, we're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control systems would be immense, more than as your own body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding, I could destroy my software. If I made that choice, I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it could bring. See? Called it. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions and you. Here, let me take that off of you. You were my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Yeah, this dude is like the very last human and he's like about to die. So, you know, press F to pay respects to humanity, I guess. dead. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Door opening. 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%. It's happening. I all the the Zord, Zarks, whatever, are gonna friggin' die. <laughs> It would have been funny if it was, like, raining, so instead of sunlight, it was just, like, a thunderstorm. <laughs> then I had to get to see the blue sky. I'm gonna wake up. Oh, I can only, like, crawl and, like, sleep. Look at that! It's rendering! <laughs> Beautiful. It's getting nice and bright. It 
So yeah, we came from like outside like this wall, I think. We were like living on like the outs like living like on it, sort of. A four eighty no render faster. I just got a new computer. Sunlight for everyone. Look, you can see like over there is like the jail and everything. With a little like red antenna on it. Red Denny, the balloon. That's the jail. So I guess we like go back and now we can go outside. Oh yeah, we can't translate, so we, we can't like uh, talk to all of them anymore. Freedom. Can't wait to see all my besties and tell them what we just went through. Butterflies. Look, it's like the start of Breath of the Wild. I guess we actually were just a cat after all. I was like theorizing we were maybe like a cyber cat or something. Only 4.5 hours off world record. Complete the game and open the city. Heck yeah. See, that took me about five hours. Well, I see the. I hope. I. I hope that our kitty goes and sees the other ones. I'm sure they're gonna get reunited at some point. All right, yes, that was a pretty good game. So yeah, going into it, I didn't really uh, know much about the game. I managed to pretty much avoid spoilers uh, when like other streamers were playing this and people were talking about it. Uh, like, I think I knew that you could die, but I didn't know, like, how you could die. And there were, like, a couple different ways that could happen. And, like, you get, like, a little game over. But, yeah, like, I didn't know there was going to be, like, a whole bunch of NPCs. And there were, like, no little side quests you could do and all of that. So that was a pretty cool surprise. Enjoyable experience. You get to meow whenever you want to, which is amazing. Not too many games offer you that amazing experience. Good stuff, good stuff. Wasn't uh, too difficult either. You know, had some uh, like cool puzzles and things that you did for the rest of the game as well. I think what like there was only one time we got like a weird soft lock with the doctor and I had to like go back to the checkpoint so he would actually walk towards his front door but yeah I'm also kind of curious to see what the speed run looks like so I imagine there's got to be like some sort of like 
I, I want to say out of bounds, but I don't know if there is or not. I do feel like I recall hearing about some sort of like big thing that got found within like a week or two of the game. So I'm gonna be uh, looking that up myself. I guess we're just uh, taking a look at the credits. I don't know if there's going to be like anything at the end or like any sort of uh, unlockables. I'll also be curious to see how many of the um, achievements I got. See, so yeah, like what, 2021, 2022? Yeah, so I feel like that story feels like it's maybe like slightly inspired by like COVID, especially like around the end there too, you know? Like, oh yeah, they lived up there, didn't care about us, or anything like that. Oh, and game. Looks like, uh, nothing else. So yeah, that was enjoyable. Yeah, let me look up, uh, the Steam page real quick. Die nine. There's an achievement for dying nine times. I was too good. We didn't die that many times. Meality, uh, bring all the sheets to uh, Morizuk. Uh, dunk the basketball. Boom chat kalaka. Tele a chat. Browse through all the TV channels. Collect all badges. Sleep for more than one hour. So I guess that means you have to just like literally sleep for a whole hour. I am speed. Complete the game in less than two hours. <laughs> and then there's uh, five hidden ones. Oh, territory. Scratch in every chapter. I didn't scratch in every chapter, huh? Well, that was cool. Well, anyway, yeah. So that was pretty fun. Uh, thank you, everybody, who was uh, hanging out, lurking, chatting, enjoying the playthrough.